In this video, I'm going to show you how to embed a PowerPoint in Sakai. I will give you step-by-step -step instructions, and I will also show you visually how to do it using the following steps. Before you begin, you will need the following. You will need a Microsoft OneDrive account. You will need access to Microsoft Office Online or have an Office 365 subscription. And then you will need a completed PowerPoint presentation. The first thing you need to do is navigate to OneDrive. Then you need to create a folder which you're going to store your public PowerPoint in. And then you're going to, need to copy that file to the folder. So let's look at how to do this. Once you access your OneDrive, you'll be able to copy your PowerPoint presentation by creating a new folder, and you can name it whatever you want. So in this case, you can hit Create, Folder, and call it Public. Once you have created your folder, you can then upload your PowerPoint presentation by simply dragging it into the empty space. The second step is easy. You should already have access to either Office Online or Office 365. In either case, your OneDrive should be linked to those accounts. Thus, all you have to do is click on the PowerPoint file that you uploaded to OneDrive. This should automatically connect you to PowerPoint Online. Now that you have your file opened in PowerPoint Online, it is going to be time to access the embedded code. To do this, you're going to click on File, and then you're going to navigate to Share, and then click on that as well. Next, you're going to click on Embed, and then you're going to highlight the desired size of the presentation. Once you do this, you're going to place your cursor in the Embed Code box, and then you're going to make sure the text is blue, and then you're going to hit Control c or you could also right click and then hit copy. Let's take a look at this. Click file, share, embed, hit generate, then you will choose the size that you want. Once you choose the size that you want, you will click into this box and either hit control C or right click and then hit copy. And then you can hit close. Now that you have the code copied to your clipboard, you need to navigate to Sakai and then you need, need, you need to navigate to Sakai and embed the code. In order to do this, you need to create a page where you want the PowerPoint presentation to display. Now I do have a note here that says it must be placed within an accessible text box. This is because you're going to use the text box to embed the code within the source. So let's take a look at how you're going to do this. For demonstration purposes, I'm going to show you how to do this in a Lessons tab. So here I have a Lessons module, and I have already created Lessons, but for this example, I'm going to show you how to do it from scratch. So once you've added a module, you will click on the actual module itself, click on the Add Content section. So here I'm going to click on the Add Content section and provide the example to you. This is the important part. You're going to embed the code in a text box. So you want to click on the content type and then choose Compose Content with Editor. Once the text box pops up, you will click on the source. You can safely go ahead and delete the text that's in there. And then you can right click and hit paste. This is the embedded code that you had copied from PowerPoint Online. Next you will hit Add and then you will click on Finish. In order to check that your PowerPoint was embedded correctly, click on the View tab, and then scroll down to wherever your embedded code is, and open it up. And there you can see the PowerPoint has been embedded and is fully accessible within Sakai. Just to review, once you embed your code, if you do want to check it, you need to navigate to the page where you embedded the presentation and then try to view it as a student. The PowerPoint presentation should display, at least in a few moments, it may take some time to load, and then you should be able to navigate it. And your students will be able to access it within the web page rather than having to download a file and open it themselves. 
They also will not have to have Office on their computers since they are using Office Online to generate the presentation for them. That concludes this video.